on YouTube, it's your boy, Mr. Random. And if you guys have ever owned a Crown Victoria police interceptor, then you've probably wondered at one point or another, what the hell this means. Well, you guys are in luck because like most of the information that you find on the internet, and now we're at a completely random place. So anyways, some of that information comes from unverified sources. Well, uh, a lot of you guys might be surprised to know that I was actually a, or surprised or maybe even hate me. But anyways, I was actually a cop at one point, uh, believe it or not. And having attended multiple police vehicle calibrations, uh, it's safe to say that I'm more than certified. See what I did there? To tell you guys exactly how your Crown Victoria earned those two little significant words that people argue about so much under your speedometer. Okay, so to simplify an overcomplicated subject, you can thank lawyers for the existence of certified calibration on police vehicles. Truthfully, most people that aren't involved in law enforcement and never took a radar and LIDAR certification class have no clue that technically police officers' own eyes are a tool of speed measurement. Simply put, yes, even without a radar speed measurement tool and officers' eyes alone is sufficient enough in a court of law. This is also known as pacing. Now, without boring you guys to freaking death, Pacing is a technique that requires police officers to drive behind the vehicle, traveling at the same speed as the one in front of them, and maintaining a constant distance. Here's the loophole though. Pacing only works when the police vehicle has a certified, keyword there, calibrated speedometer. That pretty much means that a third party that is not part of the officer's department needs to come out and individually calibrate all speedometers now going back <laughs> going back to my lieutenant dangle days vehicle calibration days were freaking awesome all the shifts got together everybody got to hang out pretty much the way that vehicles are calibrated these days uh, is that they bring out these giant rolling dinos I, I kid you not it's literally a trailer that folds out like a freaking transformer then you hand over your keys to the technician assigned to your vehicle and he loads it up to the dyno. Now with the old Crown Vicks, they just start that mofo right away. <laughs> with these more modern interceptors, man, they have to log into the car's computer and disable every damn driver assist feature and whatever the hell bells and whistles that come with these new cars. And after about 30 minutes or so, they lower your car off the dyno and hand you a certificate that certifies that your squad car speedometer has been calibrated so precisely that it's even more accurate than most radars. Now, depending on your department, calibrations were done either once a year or every two years. Having a current and valid certified calibration was just another tool an officer has at his disposal to win against those pesky lawyers in case you're wondering yes they are required to bring proof that their vehicles have current and up-to-date calibrated speedometers now this brings us to our old used beat up retired cop cars and although they are technically no longer certified calibrated hell nine times out of ten as long as you didn't change the tire and rim combination that it originally came with your old pigmobile it's still more accurate than most cars on the road today. So, next time you look down at your Speedo and you see those two words, know that dozens, if not hundreds of people, were totally screwed over by it. Hell, you might have been one too. LOL.